Hello, uh, in today's video we will uh, look at the paper. So this will be maybe a new series of um, machine learning papers uh, that I will go through that are related to art or uh, to image processing but in a more communication artistic way. Um, so this paper, uh, the main goal of this paper is of this neural network is to give an image as an input and to get a mask as an output. So you can see examples on this um, GitHub project. One important thing is that the license is Apache 2. So that means that commercial use is uh, allowed, private use as well. So let's go through this and try it. This is a paper made by the University of Alberta. So this is not at all a paper I've been working on. Uh, when I, this was recorded, the paper was published six days uh, ago. So thanks to these authors that uh, I'm afraid of mispronouncing their names. Jua Bin Chen Zishen Chong, Chen Yang Huang, Masun Du Khan, Osmar Er Zain, and Martin Jagersan. Thanks to them. The paper is quite impressive. So the first thing to do is to download uh, here, click on, go to this link, click on clone and download, download the zip, and then open the zip uh, and compress it. And this will give you a file that should look like this. The next step is to create a folder in this file called saved models exactly written like this without any upper cases, without any spaces saved underscore models. And then to create a subfolder named u2net, go into this uh, subfolder, then come here, download this uh, wait, <coughs> sorry. So you just need to go on Google Drive, download, download. And then I think it's a zip file, you uncompress it, uh, you decompress it here, and you should be all set. Then the next step is to go in um, test data, test images. You put the images you want to process. So in my case, we have random images uh, from the internet and then uh, maybe we can grab another image of a chair no not like this yes a chair maybe this one because the the other ones with the white background are too easy to up oh, save the image here Yes, and then we need to install the dependencies. So they are listed somewhere here. They are listed here, I think. For that, you go to your folder. And then you pip three install. And then you put um, and then you put uh, the libraries you want to install, for example, NumPy. So I already have everything installed, then I think I can just cycle, just put them one after the other. Image, uh, PIL is pillow. Uh, for PyTorch, it's torch. Uh, Libraries called Torch and then Torch Vision and then Glob. Oh, sorry, it's Glob 3 because we are using Python 3. Up oh, and everything is installed if you don't have them. So you can see here that already satisfied, already satisfied. And now you should be ready. Now just uh, go where your Python uh, file is, so where you downloaded the, the where you uncompressed the first zip file, and then you should see 
in there um, this file you to test and you just need to launch it so python python 3 depending on the version of python you have u2 test and then you will get the result in this so we have uh, five input images and you will get I'll del delete this and you will get uh, the outputs there it takes a few seconds i have a good gpu i have to say so it might take longer for you to to run up done and here you can see that we have five images of masks so they are a bit useless um, uh, right now but we can photo p and then we can import so test images let's test um, this one for example up load in and then we import the other one up and then we copy everything to have it as a mask and you can see how precise the um, the background removal is i mean it's not perfect definitely not perfect but it's already very impressive and it can save you a lot of time uh, we can try this with another picture for example this chair's picture Up, copy this and th this is crazy look at this background removal this is not perfect hmm. oh this is perfect this is almost perfect just need to to erase this up here as well some work to do but uh, one of the things that can be done is to pre-process the image to make it easier for the um, for the algorithm to to work with maybe if we increase the contrast we could get it to to erase this part uh, easier and I think it has problems uh, getting rid of parts that are inside so it mainly focuses on the outside shape so voila uh, I hope this helped you tell me if it's too technical uh, if it's not if you might use it in the future or you might use it if it gets easier to use thank you for watching and i hope this was helpful